don't think because I healed that my leg is not all the way healed. And I have no surgery. Ain't no rod in my leg. This is my 100% boned out leg, baby. This is my shit. Yeah, I'm not going to be beastie. I'm going to be calm just like this. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to keep staying calm. And if I have to uh, get attacked or attack someone, then it, it's going to be for sure 100% a reason. I'm not just, oh, you hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. Y'all see they talking. I don't give a fuck. Nobody running from shit and cares know that. Let them know. Let them know. I'm not going to talk shit about these people on social media, y'all. This is not my personality. I've never been that type of person. And the fact that people used to trigger that out of me, I'm not, you know, I don't know how to make a joke and, like, bleed a bitch and all that. That's why I always used to fight. Because, like, you going to talk down on me. I don't even... I have not once called Kenzie or Barbie ugly. I have not once said nothing, but you guys are stronger than me. You guys are really men. You were, we all know you guys were born men. It's okay. I'm not saying it as a diss. I'm just saying the actual facts. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you were provoked, yeah, for a long time. I think I, I don't know how long, and that's what I'm saying. Barbie never brought me my key. I called Barbie for my key. And she never gave it to me, y'all. You know who gave me my key? Amberlyn, Lemon Pepper Stepper from Blueface Club. She gave me my key. And she was in there hosting. She was the only one in there hosting for a party. And it was it was probably like 15 people in there or 20 people. Like, y'all capping. Cap, cap, cap. And they think that shit. I mean, y'all really, they really think they're getting under my skin by saying my nigga is the L. Like, girl, I'm gonna suck that dick. I'm a bounce on that dick. Fuck you talking about. Fuck. <laughs> what? Eating a nigga ass. Eating eat, eat a nigga ass. Fuck you talking about, girl. You're not pissing nobody off. You're not stopping nothing. You can't make me stop talking to nobody. If you mad I'm in a relationship and your nigga left you and, and he, he you ain't got no home, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, bro. That is not my fault. You got to stay in a hotel room now and you wish you, you had that high rise with that nigga and he don't want to be with you. Life is great. What the fuck is you talking about? Life is fucking great. I can't be... I, I Like, I'm not at the bottom no more. Like, they are mad because they hit rock bottom. That's not my fucking fault. That's not my fault that you, you're in rentals and you're asking my mom where I got my car from. Like, that's not my fault. You're probably mad because you wish you could be in my house and not paying for hotel rooms. That's not my fault. You burnt the bridge, and now you want to cross it again. I don't want to cross that shit. You know what I, I made up with Isaiah a long time ago. I let all that shit go. I went to his Playboy shit. Yeah. And some shit came up. Yeah. Some shit came up, but I, that's when I was mad, and I let it be known. That shit was when I was mad. That shit is not now. And that's one thing y'all need to realize. When I got a big forgiving heart. I'm really I forgive people when I shouldn't. I really forgive people when I shouldn't. And I I'm like I need to stop sometimes. Like I'll forgive you, but I don't want to fuck with you. That's where it's at like with me now. Like I'll forgive you, but I don't want to fuck with you. I'll forgive you, but I don't want to fuck with you. And ain't nothing wrong with setting boundaries for myself. And bitches, all, all these girls are coming at me right now for clout. They just want to see these big ass numbers at the top of their fucking screen saying, Oh, I had a thousand people on my live today. Oh, I, bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't. I really don't. What you lost about? The fact that the situation happened like I'm telling y'all or what? Because it was really me trying to just come get my key and go about my motherfucking day. I was having a great day. 
and Kenzie was mad that I I ignored Kenzie at the premiere, y'all. I kept it as professional as possible. Even when I hollered at her, like, I tried to just, you know, say my piece. And she wanted to get ghetto. She wanted to get ghetto. So, you know me, I'm, but talk that shit. Uh-huh. And I kept saying, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. you sound like a fucking. Not tell what really happened either. She blacked out. It's Tommy, your man. Your man. Yup. 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 Kizzy just hurt because you don't want to fuck with her. And that's how I really feel. Like, she really hurt that I want to fuck with her. So she's saying, oh, E.T. got roaches. E.T. nigga on the DL. What else they said? What else they said? E.T. broke. I've been doing fine. And y'all, everybody know I've been doing fine on 